Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. Be somebody wanted for a living somebody tried to catch a ride. And today we're here to start off another wonderful week's worth of content. Nico, I am in relaxation mode. If you have not noticed, I've actually been off of social media as well. Nico, yeah, I needed a break. Social media is so toxic. And I was experiencing a creator burnout. So I don't know if you guys saw, but another Nico Vintage highlight video came out. It's in the playlist. But it got 18 plus restricted because I was so burnt out while editing that a lot of things that should not have been in that video made it into the video. <laughs> So if you're interested in that, make sure to go check it out. But now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. Today we are talking about an update on DeAndre Cottrell and Julian Morris. Nico, what happened? I'm going to link the video that I already did because it was an in-depth breakdown of what was occurring with that situation. But to speed past it if you don't have the time, DeAndre Cottrell basically is a member of a dancing trio that was also a thruple at one point that went to visit his sister and her family in their new home in Alabama with his partner of three plus years, Julian Morris. Now, since they arrived, a lot of shenanigans happened that you can catch up on in that video, but essentially De DeAndre allegedly jumped off of a balcony, slapped down onto another balcony and jumped onto the ground and began to run through backyards in the neighborhood and was eventually found unresponsive in a shed. A family is describing him as a very caring and loving person who had embraced his uh, role as an ambassador of sorts of the LGBTQ lifestyle. Now they fear one of his love interests actually played a role in uh, of hiding his body inside this shed. My brother, he cared for everybody. He, he exemplified what love is. DeAndre Cottrell was a source of pride to his brother and sister. Then Thursday night, the marketing PhD student vanished following 4th of July fireworks at Sister Angelica's home. His friend Julian Morris told the family Cottrell simply ran off. The entire time that we were searching, he was in my mom's, like in my house, talking to my mom, trying to explain himself. D had on a jacket. Cottrell said they searched for her brother all night using doorbell camera videos to track his path. Then she remembers Morris telling her on the phone he had put her brother in a house. I was like, hey, he's in a house. Like, he's in a house. Dude just told me, calm, cool, and collected, that he's in a house. We got to go look in houses. Ultimately, Cottrell's shoe was found behind this shed two blocks away, where detectives uncovered his body inside. Tim Cottrell had to identify his big brother to police. I took on that challenge, uh, knowing that my sister and my mama probably wouldn't be able to accept it. And I'm, and I'm okay with it. Police have named Morris a person of interest in Cottrell's murder. That's hurtful too, because it's like my mom was staring my, staring her son's killing eye. Morris has not been charged in the case, but Angelica and Tim hope their family receives justice and their brother's legacy of love lives on. My hope is that nobody that ever experienced the love that D generated ever forgets it. Including the love that taught his brother and others to be true to themselves. The last person he was seen with was said partner of three plus years, Julian Morris. And since then, some more information has been coming out. For example, there have been videos that have popped up of DeAndre wandering through neighborhoods aimlessly in the middle of the night before he was found unresponsive in the shed. But now there's also videos of Julian Morris being sighted in the Atlanta area. But before we get started on that, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics for more exclusive lives, weekly videos, and be a part of the live streams that happen every Thursday, 5.30 and 7 p.m. CDT. If that sounds interesting to you, definitely check it out. Now, if you cannot help support the channel monetarily, just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel. And if you're already here watching the videos, you might as well subscribe. But let's get on to the actual story. So, there was a viral TikTok video that popped up where Julian was cited asking for a ride. This person clearly was using this as a moment of stardom because they instantly put it on TikTok and said, 
Oh, when someone who's on the run for unaliving someone asked for a ride, rather than turning it over to the police and telling them where Julian was cited. That's today's day and age of social media where people will find evidence that is useful to an investigation and will immediately go, hmm, I can get some likes and views off of this. It's crazy, but that's the world we live in. So today he uploaded an updated video where it was basically the audio of Julian coming up with a story as to why he needed a ride and why he was so banged up. I'll insert the videos here. I was wrestling a cop. I was on a cruise and he was drunk. He's like, oh, let's wrestle. I'm like, no, you don't want to wrestle me, you'll lose. And he thought he was going to beat me, so I got a little rug burn when I was choking him. As you saw, Julian basically was saying, yeah, I got into it with a cop on a cruise ship and, you know, he wanted to wrestle around and we wrestled. That's why I have some carpet burn. But that's essentially what's going on. And that's all the information the person is putting out. I'm assuming they're going to keep putting out these small video clips of the interaction he had with Julian so that he can gain more traction on his TikTok. But as we can tell so far, Julian has been cited in the Atlanta area. Now, there's been a lot of questions on how he's still on the run. Julian has made public press statements through his lawyer and his sister. He is still technically being looked for for questioning and or, you know, due process. So if you have any information on where Julian currently is, do not do like this TikToker and just put it on TikTok. Make sure to contact this number so that we can get actual questions answered about the untimely passing of DeAndre Cottrell. But with that information, that's today's video. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Boop. Hey, Editing Nico here. Make sure to start commenting down below because I want to start adding the comments from the previous video into the next video. So that way it can give you a quick summary of what we discussed last time in case you're interested. And to show you guys that I actually do read all the comments. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'll usually like or comment or if I agree or if I understand where you're coming from because I like to actually engage with you guys. So if that sounds interesting, Make sure you comment down below and I will insert my highest like comment into next week's video. But until then. And now for a brief shout out to this week's third eye tier subscribers, Ryan S and Dark Boo 007. Your continued support is greatly appreciated and thank you once again to everyone who supports the channel. And this week's live stream discussion will be over vintage performers, who you miss, who you remember fondly, and maybe who was your first performer that you actually learned the name of. If that sounds interesting to you, definitely tune in.